we have uh, advances in the uh, knowledge of the epidemiology. Now we will know what are the risk factors for this complication that quite, is quite rare after the transplant. is 2 to 3% in risk uh, population, but below 1% or less in the HLA match uh, allogenic patient. So we are uh, dealing with a, a, a quite rare complication, so it's difficult to have information in a lot of numbers. The advances in, in the management of the, 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 this complication comes from the use of preemptive uh, therapy with rituximab that was in the uh, 90s and the 2000s. Uh, and now the mortality have decreased uh, from 80% to 30%. So that is, is good. But in spite of the use of uh, preemptive therapy with rituximab, we have uh, uh, 30% or higher mortality, that is a lot. And uh, even worse, the patient that refractory to, to reduce IMAC have nearly 100% of mortality. So the, the advance we have now to, to treat this refractory to rituximab the patients is uh, the adoptive cellular immunotherapy with EBP, uh, cytotoxins, uh, cytotoxins uh, T lymphocytes, uh, specific for this virus. There are several platforms that are in use, um, and, and now we have the opportunity to treat these patients with this immunotherapy that offer a real possibility to uh, survive to this uh, very bad situation. So that is the, 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 the good news. We have this uh, uh, tool in, 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 in our hands. Now there are several ongoing phase three trials. So we will know in, in, in some time if uh, we can have this uh, in a commercial base, base or also in an academic base. So. Uh, uh, immune adoptive therapy is the, the new tool for trade refractory EBP PTLD.